Well, Scotters, another year has come and gone. Yeah. And another year is on the way. Yeah. Tell me, Scott, what are some of your New Year's resolutions? I don't have any. Oh, come on, Scotters. you got to have some kind of New Year's resolutions. You have to have some new, exciting goals for the new year ahead. Well, I, I, I don't know. I guess I just want to sit outside more, you know, to, in an attempt to reverse my horrible vitamin D deficiency. Well, there you go, Scotters. What about creatively? You know, I know you've been working really hard on your Scott's Thoughts this year. Um, maybe uh, you could plan some new videos for the year ahead. I don't really want to do that. I just, I, I don't know. It, just, it feels like I'm circling the drain a little bit. I, there's so many things that I'm passionate about that they kind of clog the drain of my brain. Oh boy, I hear you, Scotters. I think that for me, in the new year, my Jeremy Kellerman New Year's resolutions will be to create more Jeremy Kellerman productions than ever, to create a whole new series of different videos to spread my wisdom and joy to people all over the world. You know, maybe I could come up with some new formats, some new interesting uh, premises for videos. You know, I've, I've, I've been hearing that... Uh, this new thing called urban exploration is really popular. I was thinking that, like, go, uh, we could go to that old, like, ice cream factory down the block and try to, like, spelunk through it or something. First of all, Jeremy, neither of us is in the correct physical condition to spelunk or to do any form of urban exploration or any kind of exploration that is not of the mind. And second of all, we don't have the legal resources to pay the trespassing fines that urban exploration will likely incur. I mean, even Lance has his limits. And lastly, that's not an ice cream factory. That's literally a like the husk of an ice cream stand. What would there be to explore? We would climb over the bricks and stand in a frame. Well, you know, Scott, it's not the size of the of the of the place. It's the uh, the enthusiasm with which you do the explore. Don't call it an explore. That's not a noun. That is a verb. I gotta draw a line in the sand somewhere, Jeremy, and this is it. Okay, okay, cool it, Scott. Gee whiz. Oh, gee. Uh, okay. Well, you know, maybe we can find something else we can do together. And, you know, find some new uh, interesting types of projects that will make us both excited and that will really get the attention of the fans out there. Maybe we could just, you know, go take a walk. You know, because walking's good for diabetes. And, you know, maybe we could take a walk and, and not even film it. That's very conceptual, Scotters. I like the way you think. You're really thinking outside the box now. Now I just wonder, how do you film something that you don't film? Jeremy, sometimes you make my head hurt. Well, anyway, Scotters, uh, I'm excited for the new year. You know, there's so many new things happening all the time in this world. There are so many things to look forward to. There are so many things to be excited about. <sighs> I guess we'll figure out something to do. Maybe it'll be something that you post on your web zone. Maybe it's something that only we'll know about. Maybe I'll marathon Gumby again. Maybe I'll call up Paola and see if she wants to go down to the drugstore and get an egg cream. Who knows? That's the spirit, Scotto! Don't ever call me that again. Okay, okay. Um, 
But, you know, since the year's winding up, um, you know, as we look forward to the year ahead, I just wonder, like, do you have any final thoughts for the year? Do you have any reflections or special memories or insights from your past year? I guess if it's anything, it's that creativity is a mix of arbitrarily chosen and meaningless deadlines and untreated ADHD. I guess if I have one big insight for the year, or the last, you know, 10 plus years, it's that when it comes to creativity and a lot of things in life, if you can't do it right, do it wrong. I mean, maybe you'll apply that if you're like an engineer or something. That could probably, you could probably accidentally kill someone if you do something wrong as an engineer. Don't do that if you're an engineer. I'm not legally liable for any of this advice. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah? You remember that last Calvin and Hobbes cartoon where... They talk about the snow looking like a big white canvas of possibility as Calvin and Hobbes slide down the hill in the sled and ride off into the infinite potential of future adventure. Well, of course, Scott. That, that cartoon's a classic. You know, good old Bill Watterson. Yeah, I was just thinking about that cartoon. I always thought it was pretty stupid.
<sighs> Another banner year in the Kellerman house. Ugh. At least I got some cool stuff this year. And the tree looks nice. Guess I can't complain. Who could that be? Hello? Hey Scott, it's uh, it's Leonard. Uh, Leonard, what are you doing calling me? Well, I just wanted to say happy holidays and happy new year. Leonard, the holidays are over! Well, I, I was just kind of curious about something. I was editing the footage for the new Kellerman's episode, and I, I noticed something that didn't didn't make sense to me. It's something that you've been kind of talking about for a long time, and I've never understood it. Uh, I was just wondering to know if you could clear it up for me. I'm a man of many mysteries, Leonard. I'm a man of multitudes, like Bob Dylan said. I don't want to be on the hot seat. You ain't the press. I know, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just curious. Just, i as a favor. Could you explain this to me? I'll consider it. Oh well, in this uh, new video, uh, in the footage that you and Jeremy sent me, uh, he asked you if you had any New Year's goals or resolutions, and one of the things you said uh, was that you wanted to contact the actor Dean Stockwell uh, on a Ouija board. Yes? What do you want to know about that? Well, I was just kind of wondering why. Like, what it, is it like a quantum leap thing? Or, or is it like a blue velvet David Lynch thing? Like, what, why do you want to talk to Dean Stockwell? Oh, I, I just wanted to talk to him about the production of The Careless Years. The Careless Years? That movie from like 1956 or 57? Yeah! What, what about that movie interests you? I just wanted to ask him what it was like to work with Barbara Billingsley. Um, then why didn't you use the Ouija board to contact Barbara Billingsley? Barbara Billingsley's dead?! Wait, 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 wait. If you thought Barbara Billingsley was still alive, why didn't you just try to contact her through, like, the mail or the phone? I don't know. I guess I didn't really think that far ahead. Uh, happy New Year, Scott. Happy New Year, Leonard!
with the money I 